Hello guys, I want to bring you another uh, cook video which is from justthatmuscle.com This is uh, chicken and Brussels sprouts and uh, it's a very very simple um, recipe I'm actually making this um, here in my office um, so I've gotten myself uh, the new wave uh, stove top and this is um, you know something that I just purchased it's really really nice and basically you just need an induction type of um, of a pan or or type of um, container to uh, to cook on it. You got to make sure on the bottom of your of your pan it says uh, induction, so that it's compatible with this um, type of cooktop. And basically, you just plug it in, and um, you can cook your your vegetables or your meat or whatever you're cooking on it at the perfect temperature by controlling this uh, this dial here um, to put it less or more. And uh, also, it's got a timer if you want to put it on ti on a timer. It's a really, really nice um, little piece of equipment. It cooks your your meats and stuff really um, evenly. So um, I'm going to show you guys how that works today. And basically, I got some organic, uh, some Murray's organic chicken here. Just a couple of breasts. This is going to be a couple of meals. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make it, and then I'll, I'll store it away in Tupperwares. So basically, we're going to take our chicken breast. Have here, I put it in there, and we got four chicken breasts. And cut them open. And this chicken is really good. You can really tell the difference in the taste between this and um, the regular non-organic chicken. It actually has a lot of flavor. I like to trim some of the fat off of it usually. Um, a little bit of fat, I'll just usually take it off. Sometimes you get some pieces of bones and things like that. And um, what I'll do is I'll just trim them off with a knife. Um, so you take your chicken, you basically just trim the fat and whatever little pieces of bones that you have left over on the breast. Sometimes they, you know, they leave stuff on it. So you want to make sure that it's good. So here basically we have our chicken breast um, almost ready. And what I'll do is I'll slice. I slice them to make them thinner so they'll cook through faster. Um, usually you want to use a cutting board or something so you don't cut yourself. Um, so you got to you know, do this maybe on a cutting board so it's easier. I've been doing this for a long time so um, I usually I don't have a cutting board handy right now so I'll just kind of go through it really fast. So then you know you want to make sure you kind of butterfly your chicken there so it's thinner so you're not, not going to have raw chicken in the middle when you cook it. So now, it's just a thinner butterfly piece of chicken. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some some fresh lemons. I'm gonna roll them first. You roll them like this, you get all the juice um, easier out of it, rather than having to squeeze it and then leaving a bunch of juice inside of it. So you roll your lemon, and then you cut it. You're gonna put that, and use it for your marinade. And if you can use a little strainer to catch the seeds, that makes things a lot easier too. Um, so we're going to put the lemon juice on, on the chicken, make sure it gets in, you know, so it helps to marinate it. And I'm going to take some adobo seasoning, and we're going to put some adobo seasoning on it, just enough to get it flavor your chicken and this is um, Goya adobo seasoning you can use lemon pepper you can use many different things I just really like this seasoning it has no MSG um, it tastes really good and it's pretty much all natural so um, it has some nice flavor so I'm gonna mix it mix it up and we'll put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or so, uh, minimum, so the lemon juice and the adobo soaks in the chicken. Then what we do is uh, we're going to take it out um, once it's been in the refrigerator for an hour. Then we're going to go ahead and cook it. Okay, so now we have our chicken here um, that's been marinating for an hour in the refrigerator. Um, and we're going to take it and we're going to put it on the induction cooker and cook it with some coconut oil. Um, I use Barleen's Organic. This is probably the best coconut oil on the market. Uh, it's all used from um, from coconuts that I picked off the tree. They're not 
coconuts, you know, that fall on the ground or might be rancid or whatever. I've bought other coconut oils um, from different companies at times that were a lot cheaper or whatever because they were, um, you know, easier to get and I regretted it. They had a rancid taste, almost like a, you know, like a bad, if you ever had a bad coconut, you'd, you'd know the taste. Uh, so I always stick with Barleen's. Uh, it seems to be the best quality coconut oil I found. So now we're going to take our uh, induction cooker and I'm going to hit the start button and you can hear the noise there. It's actually turned on. And coconut oil, you can heat it up to 420 degrees without without the oil um, going, going bad or oxidizing. So I usually cook it at 400. Um, and basically, anytime that you remove this from the stove top, it kind of stops, which is you know, the only downfall. But now it's at 400. And then while that's heating up, um, I let it heat it up, heat up a little bit, and then I'm going to put my chicken on it. And over here, we have some Brussels sprouts. And this is uh, a steamer that I bought on uh, eBay, and it's uh, made by Tupperware. And basically, um, it's like a strainer on top. You put your veggies in here, a little bit of water on the bottom, and you just put the cover on it and you stick it in the microwave. Now the microwaves do not get into the actual vegetables, it just heats up the water because of the material that the steamer is made out of does not let the microwaves penetrate your vegetables. It actually only penetrates the, the water and it heats it up so the steam rises and cooks your vegetables. So we take the Brussels sprouts and we're gonna put them in the microwave for about 20 minutes. Uh, and we're gonna leave that there and then we're gonna come over to our chicken. Now the oil is nice and hot. And we're gonna go ahead and drop our chicken. And the coconut oil. And when you're doing a low carbohydrate diet, that olive oil going to serve as your energy source um, and it's also medium chain triglycerides which are great um, to help to help the body to actually utilize uh, fat for fuel so medium chain triglycerides are a lot more likely to be used for energy um, than to be stored as fat uh, it's a sp specific type of fat that's really high in coconut um, found abundantly in coconut oil it's also great for brain function and uh, many other things so you always want to use coconut oil to cook all your meals. So if you guys watch my videos, you know that I'm a big, big fan of um, coconut oil uh, and also grass-fed butter. I use it in a lot of my uh, recipes. So basically, we're gonna let that cook through um, while our veggies are cooking in the, in the steamer, and um, we'll come back when it's almost done, and I'll show you guys how it, how it looks on um, on the plate. Okay guys, so there you have it. The chicken's pretty much cooked. You see how nice and golden brown it is? And it's actually cooked all the way through. Um, if you take a look at it, it's cooked very, very evenly. Um, this induction cooker is awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, you guys can cook anything. You know, they have actual pots, they have pans, they have all kinds of uh, things that you can use. Um, so we're gonna put the chicken aside now. Um, I'm gonna shut Shut the cooker off, and um, we're gonna go over to the to the Brussels sprouts. Okay, guys, so our chicken's done. I'm gonna place it over here, and we're gonna pull out our veggies, um, our Brussels sprouts. You can do any kind of vegetables you want in the steamer. Um, you know, sometimes I'll buy the the bags of veggies from uh, Publix or whatever. Um, and that's basically your your Brussels sprouts there. I'm gonna take it and put it over this tossing bowl. And, you know, some people, you might like your, your veggies a little bit more done or, you know, I like them like that, it's still a little bit crunchy. I don't like to overcook them because then they just become mush. And I think that's a lot of the problem that people have with vegetables that they overcook them. Um, I'm going to use some Kerrygold butter, probably about a, a little bit over a tablespoon. And that's uh, Kerrygold grass-fed butter. Um, you can find this at most local supermarkets now. And um, it's really, really good stuff. It's, um, a lot better for you than regular butter. 
Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you can research uh, on the benefits of grass-fed butter. And there's a bunch of information out there online. Um, what we're going to do is going to toss our Brussels sprouts with the butter and allow it to, um, to melt. And then I'm going to take some sea salt and put that on our, on our Brussels sprouts. And basically this is very, very low carbohydrate, high protein, um, high fiber meal. And Brussels sprouts are loaded with phytonutrients and vitamins. Um, they're a great, great um, vegetable. You could do broccoli, you could do whatever vegetable you like. You can do a mix, you could do medley, you know, broccoli and carrots, uh, cauliflower, um, whatever veggies you like. The idea is to um, keep your carbohydrates low, um, keep your your fats um, moderate to low and keep your protein high and basically this is um, you know this is how we're gonna we're gonna accomplish uh, you know the fat burning along with you know weight training and cardio whatever exercise program you're doing so here we have the chicken breast nice and golden and cooked all the way through and put the other chicken breast that's you know one serving and about that many Brussels sprouts and it's basically one so that's basically the first um, two meals that I got out of those chicken breasts and what I'll do is I'll keep these other two in the fridge and I'll make a salad maybe for dinner I'll take some romaine lettuce um, with some tomatoes and um, some olive oil and some uh, some of those brags Bragg's apple cider vinegar with my olive oil and throw some sea salt on it and make a nice uh, simple garden salad for dinner so um, you know that's my carbohydrates are very very low for the day and I'm eating you know healthy fats my fats consist of um, grass-fed butter um, coconut oil for cooking and then I am using um, olive oil I use it for my salads you always want to be keeping your olive oil raw rather than cooking with it because Unlike coconut oil, once you cook with it, it becomes oxidized and it turns into a different um, type of fat. So there you have it. There's our two meals for the day, very simple, uh, very easy to make. I made them here in the office with a new wave um, cooktop. And um, remember for more videos and uh, uh, information on health and fitness, nutrition, supplements, uh, subscribe. And uh, any questions that you might have, ask them, uh, ask them below, and uh, I'll try to address them with uh, future videos. Again, thank you for watching, and remember to check us out, justdadmuscle.com, for all your supplement needs.